Gang, we're back with another video for you today. This is Ashley. Hi hey guys. Today we are ranking the five Guerlain's L'Homme Ideal series fragrances, which includes L'Homme Ideal, L'Homme Ideal Cologne, L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum, L'Homme Ideal Sport, and L'Homme Ideal Intense. And Ashley's put them in order, and we're gonna come back and tell you what they are. So please stay tuned. <music> This is Sebastian, this is Ashley. If this is your first time on this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, participating in giveaways, and still haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And uh, that's right, so there's five fragrances in the collection of Lo Medial fragrances from Galan. The latest was launched a few months ago called Lo Medial L'Intense. Um, so you like one a lot. I like one a whole lot, yeah. Shall we start with number five? Sure, let's do it. Okay. The one that I don't like a whole lot, but here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the one that she doesn't like a whole lot, but it is number five. It's the fifth one that came out this year. It is Lo Medial Intense. So yeah. what's what's this one? What did you not like about this one that you liked about? Well, what I'll give to Lo Medial Intense is that it's true to its name, is intense. And I feel like, you know, that fragrance is not going anywhere, for better or worse. There is an herbal aspect to it that I'm not crazy about. Um, to, and to me, it gives an aromatic component that takes away from the ambery parts of the other ones that I preferred. Um, now, do you get any chili pepper? No. No chili pepper? No chili pepper for me. Uh, that, what about smoke? That's also going to be a no for me. Well, what, um, what maybe you like a smoke where I like maybe a little bit of like Cipriol, like a tiny, tiny touch of oud or like what we consider oud nowadays, right? Um, Synthetic oud? Mm -hmm, a little bit of that, which actually I really like and that's not necessarily what's detracting me from it. This whole line is like nice. Loma Dial is nice. There are some variations that I really love and to me are more than nice. Even this, I don't hate. But I'm never going to wear this myself or buy it for a significant other. And that's just why it's number five. It's not... Not all that. No. Do you like the bottle? I, I do. Love, I love the bottle. The bottle is nice. It's the one that's not... It's the, the only one that's not clear. Can I see the cap? Okay. It's not a magnetic it's cap. It's not a... I'm a big fan. I'm a little too into magnetic caps. But um, I'm it's surprised. still a nice bottle. I'm surprised why they didn't make this magnetic because it it's, been good. it's LVMH and they do Dior's magnetic. Right. And we were just seeing a ton of bottles and quite a few of those are magnetic caps. And I just say to all the bottle makers out there, bring on the magnetic caps because bring we're it. here for it. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you pick for number four? So number four is L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum. I really like the color of this one. Again, same nice bottle with the embossing here. Good, the ridges on the cap. Now this little girly logo here. This one you, you didn't select in our top 20 list. I didn't, so I... I brought it down it. for you, but you were like, no. No. And it's number four here. It's again, yeah, so let me smell the water. Oh, yeah. um, you do get the cherry, right? Yes. Oh, I remember why. So to me, this feels like, so obviously you probably all know Le Petit Trope Noir, and if you don't, it's um, a really big seller for Guerlain. It's like a cherry, to me it's like a cherry cola woman's fragrance. And the marketing for it I think is so good. The bottles are so cute. Those bottles are cute. Yeah, and these bottles are cute. So Guerlain, very good with the bottles. Um, and there's like that Benz Aldehyde Almond Cherry note in this. Which if you like, it's a well done fragrance, but I just, I don't, again, I can appreciate La Petite Robe Noir. I'm never gonna love La Petite Robe Noir because I've never liked cherry literally since my infancy. Like cherry, it just reminds me of cough medicine. Not that this just really, it just, doesn't do I'm, I'm never gonna be there for the cherry and that's why it didn't make the top 20, but it's nice. It, there's nothing wrong with it. This is my number one. Okay, see? <laughs> see? Wonderful fragrance if you're into it. I love cherry. It's my, oh. one of my favorite fruits to eat. Oh, see? Okay, I, it's one of my favorite fruits to eat too. But I feel like synthetic cherry, right? Like the, the Benz Aldehyde, the artificial cherry flavor, never... Never registered. quite matches it. Exactly. Like yeah. I love artificial strawberry. I love artificial grape, which a lot of people hate. Um, but artificial cherry just never... Does it for you. Never. Okay. Now this next one is my least favorite of the collection. <laughs> 
the aquatic version. <laughs> so I love Catalone, and I feel like that's not necessarily a popular opinion. <sighs> I know, and yet here I am. So I love Catalone and fragrances. You know, the masses seem to love Catalone and fragrances because it comes up again and again. I love a good sport. I'm not going to apologize for it. This is L'Homme Ideal Sport. Um, I like the bottle. I like the blue. Yeah, and to me, Catalone just kind of smells like sand on a beach. And I get that, you know, it's acrid for some people and it, it, it hurts their noses. It doesn't hurt my nose. It kind of <laughs> almost makes me want to vomit. I don't know why. I think it melds with the skin really beautifully. Um, and it kind of makes, like when it's on your skin, it makes like a really nice musk. Now, I like that's the dry down like of this more than when it's first sprayed. When the dry down yeah. is really nice and patchouli-like. Yes, that's true. And let's see, how similar is it to... It's completely different from the parfum. So different. It's a different fragrance altogether. You know, so I wouldn't say like, oh, you love Loma de Al, you'll love the sport. They're not super similar. This doesn't have the cherry um, aspect that I get in the Eau de Parfum. All right, and number two? L'Homme Adial. So I'm assuming this is the one that started it all? That started it all. Okay, and this is my number two. I think it needs Tonka another beans spray, and which almonds. I love. Almonds are key with this uh, line of fragrance. Says. And that's true, and I guess, you know, this does have the cherry, but it has like a lime facet, uh, maybe like citral, which... It's decent. Yeah, and it keeps me from disliking the cherry because it has this like twist to it. That lime twist keeps the cherry from being cloying to me where it otherwise would be. And the lime, I think, in this is what makes it really yummy. Mm. Or whatever citrus is in it, but to me it smells like lime. This would be and my... it's lovely. It's so fresh. It's fresh and warm at the same time. Warm and fresh. Yeah, yeah. there's like a dichotomy in it. And it makes you want to keep going to it again and again. And I feel like it's really different from other things in the market as well. You don't smell too much cherry. You don't smell too much lime. And I know that actually sounds really gross <laughs> now that I'm saying it. Like, who wants to smell like cherry and lime? It's on... The lime is a small facet. The cherry is a small facet. It's kind of on the same ambery base. It's in a lot of men's colognes. Um, Do you pick up the tonka beans and the almonds? Yeah, I get the almonds. So you don't pick up a lot of the tonka beans then? I get more of the almond cherry facet than the... Oh. Now I'm getting more of the Tonka. And it's nice. Do you think if I brought this down compared to the EDP, you would have selected this in the top 20? Yes. You would have? Yes. You like this more than the... The declaration. But again, I even said in the last video that me and declaration, we have our issues. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess you had more issues with the other ones that you left off versus right. the declaration. Exactly. All right. Well, anyway, this is L'Homme Ideal, the original, from Guerlain. Can we take that back? Because actually I'm realizing, smelling more, no, I would have stuck with Declaration. Really? Yeah. This wouldn't have made my top 20. Okay. Yeah, sorry. All right. From the top. <laughs> All right. So what's number one? So number one is L'Homme Ideal Cologne. I'm surprised you went with this one. This is awesome to me. I really loved this. Why is it awesome? It has a grapefruit note that I'm kind of obsessed with. It's grapefruit. Okay, cool. Definitely grapefruit. I'm, I'm surprised you can pick out the notes notes so clearly. Two years of school, you know. We hope I can do something after <laughs> it. <laughs> so what kind of, uh, what is it that gives you the, the grapefruit? So honey? it smells nothing like the other four, in my opinion. Um, it's absolutely a cologne. Um, to me, it's not aromatic. It's a citrus grapefruit. And the grapefruit is really mouth-watering and delectable. Not really sweet. Um, Do you pick up the almonds? No, to me this is like a grapefruit solo floor. Huh. It, not a zesty grapefruit, just like the juicy, mouth-watery pulp. None of the zest, none of the rind. Um, There's a pretty dominant almond note in there. Which is in all In all of them, them right? Yeah. yeah, to me this smells so different from the rest of them. This is my number two. Okay. Next yeah. to the EDP. How, normally like a flanker, like a cologne, I would have never put, I never thought I would put above the original. And I like this way more than the original. This would have totally made my top 20. Really? I like this more than Eau Sauvage. Like, please don't let the fragrance community like oh, hate no. me. Oh <laughs> no. 
Really? Absolutely. I love grapefruit. It's so hard to find a good grapefruit because usually they get really into like the green zesty part of it where I'm just here for the juice. And so Luca Turin just rated this four stars out of five in his new oh, book. Okay, cool. That was the secret I was going to tell you earlier. Oh, interesting. But I thought I'd wait until. So now that it's drying down, I get coumarin. I don't know if I'm getting almond, but I'm getting the coumarin. Coumarin is talking. And then, oh, oh, okay. Yeah? So there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Now, there's a really fun commercial mm -hmm. for this particular fragrance yeah. on YouTube, oh. which I think it aired in France because it's in French, mm -hmm. but it's shot here in San Francisco. Oh, okay. It's very, very unique. You should watch it. It's this okay. one guy who's dressed in a wedding uh, suit mm -hmm. and like hundreds of uh, women in wedding dresses. dresses running after him in the streets of San Francisco. I get it. So you should watch it. Okay. <laughs> but number one. Lone Medial Cologne, guys, this is a great, great fragrance. It really is, yeah. It's a great summer freshie. I want uh, like a flanker to that commercial where it's like a bride wearing this and like a ton of men in tuxedos chasing after her because I feel like it's unisex and it'd be really great on a man or a woman. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think it's so unisex. Yeah. I, again, I've been, I'd wear this. Like I've been looking for a good grapefruit and it's just a really bomb grapefruit. Do you, do you think all of the fragrances in this collection are unisex? Mm. The marine one? The marine one, no, is super masculine. Really? Yeah, I wouldn't wear it. Um, the cherry one, yes. I would wear the Eau de Parfum, strangely, even though it wasn't like my favorite one. I think it's more unisex than the Eau de Toilette, so I feel like You like this Gourmands. One, I like Gourmands, and to me this had more of the cherry, right? So I think I'd be more likely to wear it. But just as an overall fragrance, I liked the Eau de Toilette more. Okay. Yeah. And you hated the Lintense. I didn't like the Intense. It was too intense for me. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. Thank you for ranking them. Yeah, thank you. No problem. Thank you for having me. Guys, do you know this line? Do you know the Guerlain L'Homme Ideal collection? If you have any of them, let us know. And also, which one of these is your favorite? And which one do you hate? Let us know. Actually, if you've tried all five, please put down in order which is your favorite, which Rank is your least favorite. Rank them for us. Yes. Let us know what's up. We would love to know. Yes. And, and did you pick the cologne as really your number one? You did. It's so good. I, hope <laughs> I, I do hear about that one. Okay. People do love it. Do you know what the longevity is like on it? Not very good. Okay. Well, sad. Citruses. That's how it is sometimes. <laughs> but it smells good. Why bother, right? Yeah, yeah. It's what true. Is, what's more important to you? Is the smell or the performance? Okay. This is something that's changed for me because starting out, I really wanted performance because now I think just once you're kind of in it, you have so many samples and you have so many choices, but when you're just buying one bottle of perfume, you need it to last. So longevity used to be a lot more important to me before I became like obsessed with fragrances. So now again, I have like drawers full of samples and I want to change all the time because I have that luxury. So. That's my opinion on it. I, I think longevity is still important for like the average consumer. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. All right, guys. If you have any questions or comments, like I said, please list below. Otherwise, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Bye.